Seven common relationship mistakes gay men make. Thank you, Jay. You know who you are. Thank you for sharing this with me. So, open relationships. Number one, while we may want to live interesting and experimental lives, the biggest mistake a gay couple can make is having an open relationship. I don't necessarily agree with that, but that's just because I am a Dan Savage and the Savage Love podcast fan, and he talks about how some people are able to make it work, some people are not. Just because some people are not able to make it work doesn't mean that it never works for anyone. I have never been in an open relationship, and I don't particularly desire one, but I'm not gonna say it's wrong for everybody. Some people make it work, you do you do you (laughs) number two neediness a common relationship mistake gay men make is attaching themselves too much too quickly i've definitely done this before especially in what i refer to as my thought days but they were really just my looking for love in all the wrong places days because as soon as you have that first date if it's a good first date i'd be in love but the truth is you need that second date to know because no matter how good that first date may have seemed no matter how well you all got along no matter how well you all talked with each other it doesn't matter because if they don't call you for that second date there is nothing there period and i'm saying that so forcefully because i have been there too many times where I have had that lovely first date and it's like, oh my gosh, we're in love, things are working out. And then they disappear and you're left heartbroken because you hope that the first date was, you put everything on the first date. Anyway, don't do that, period. Don't do that, anyway. (laughs) Arguing. No relationship is perfect and we all argue and disagree sooner or later. But arguing about everything can be very toxic. I agree, you shouldn't constantly argue with your partner. But, well, you shouldn't argue about everything with your partner. But I do remember, I liked the Throwing Shade podcast. And I remember they were interviewing this woman. And she was talking about how she had gotten to the point with her partner that they have like mini arguments or micro arguments about anything where they can break out and like just have a all out disagreement and clear it up before anyone even knows. And they were just like, as you get to know your partner better, you know how to do that better and get through it quickie, quick, quickie, quicker, quicker. Anyway, Seeing someone or being with someone for comfort, money, favors, apartment. While there is no problem moving in with your boyfriend or sharing an account or money, there is a fine line between sharing and taking more than he wants to give. So I have nothing else to say. So true. Thank you. Number five, going to the club together. While many may disagree, this is probably the most common mistake a gay man can make. So, I, I've i never been to the club with a partner of mine, except for this one time back in my what I call my thought days. I went on a date with this dude, and it seemed like a cool outing, and he wanted to go to the club. Now, I've never particularly been a club head. I do love shaking my groove thing to the music, but I'm not a club head, nor have I ever been a club head. But he wanted to go to the club, so he went to the club. And I remember him deep, passionate, kissing me in the middle of the dance floor, and I had an perhaps existential moment where I was like, why in the world am I in this club engaged in this deep, passionate lip lock with this dude who I just met in the middle of the dance floor? So, yeah, I get it. And also, generally, a lot of times people are looking for single people at the club. So for you to go there and you're in a relationship, that's kind of unfair to them because... 
you are adding to the masses, but you're an unavailable part of the masses. Anyway, putting your relationship status on FB. You might be that guy who feels like your boyfriend should definitely change his relationship status on FB to prove his love, but this may harm you more than it works for you. So, I'll just breeze over this. Kevin and I broke up. Not trying to be like that couple that's like on again, off again, on again, off again, on again, off again, but it is what it is. And as far as the Facebook status, What's interesting about it is he is the first person who I changed my Facebook status for. And I have no intention to change it back because I am just, he didn't force me to change it in the first place, but he was changing his. So I felt like, well, I guess it'll be wrong if I don't change mine. So I went ahead and changed mine for the first time ever. But like I said, I'm not gonna change it back. I don't care that much. I'm not looking to date people on Facebook. And what they went on to say on Facebook is if you change your Facebook status, it's sort of like just advertising to people that you're in a relationship. And unfortunately, People who are in a relationship, your stock rises with other people and people become more interested in you because it's like, well, somebody wants him, so he is wanted, so that must mean that he's wanted for a reason, so I want him now and I think I can get him. And that's how people sometimes think and that's unfortunate. That's an unfortunate reality. And these and they'll hit you up and send messages all that stuff whatever the seventh one seventh and final is not allowing your boyfriend to go out with friends you're his boyfriend not his master the biggest mistake a gay man can make is to think that he can control his boyfriend true i think i've said enough i think i've said enough that's me in the corner. Um, yeah, R.E.M. I love that song, though. So, yep, those are the seven common relationship mistakes that gay men make. What do y'all think? Talk to y'all later, YouTube. Peace. Be blessed.